welcome back now in this video we are going to discuss a very important clinical topic that is what are the differences between two patients one is presenting with a right sided colonic malignancy and the other one is presenting with a left sided colonic malignancy so in a nutshell what are the differences between a right and left sided colon malignancy very important topic and very briefly we will go through the various differences first of all what do you mean by right and left colonic malignancy i have drawn a line here in between you can see here this is the right side and this is the left side of human body almost an average length of human colon is around 150 cm from proximal to distal it can be divided into four parts this is ascending colon the proximal one this is appendix so it starts from here this is ascending colon usually retroperitoneal then comes the transverse colon this is intraperitoneal and then comes this is descending colon again retroperitoneal and this one is sigmoid colon these are the four important parts of colon this turn is known as hepatic flexure of colon and this turn on the left side is known as splenic flexure of the colon this is spleen this part is nearby the spleen this is splenic flexure of colon and this part is occupying a site nearer to liver that's why this is known as hepatic flexure of colon if we start our journey from this place this is terminal ileum this is vermiform this this is appendix the cecum embryologically the right part of the colon is usually developed by the mid gut mid gut and its arterial supply is by superior mesenteric artery right up to this area the right sided colonic malignancy and this is the left part the left colon this is embryologically derived from and supplied by the inferior mesenteric artery and this is derived from the hind gut right this is hind gut and the right side mid gut superior mesenteric artery on the right side and inferior mesenteric artery territory on the left side left colon so let's start with what are the differences these are the headings under which we can differentiate between the two colonic malignancy the right sided as well as left sided we will go one by one just to enumerate there is a difference in the age commonly affected the gender or sex commonly affected the histology part there is a difference morphology yes mutation there is a difference we'll try to understand few concepts while going through these headings then adjuvant therapy response differences there regarding the immunogenicity yes there is a difference the metastatic site slightly different and prognosis wise yes again important points are there to differentiate any other feature you can write it down in the comment section i'll include right so for the time being we'll go through these headings the nine headings under which we can differentiate the right colonic malignancy from left colonic malignancy okay now this is the first one the right colonic malignancy 
and here is this is left colonic malignancy it has been seen that most of the cases of right colonic malignancy that is seen in older patients whenever compared to the younger age group so right colonic malignancy older patients whereas left colonic malignancy younger age group more commonly affected so the take home message whenever a patient is presenting to us with features suggestive of colonic malignancy and if he or she is an elderly suspect the right colonic malignancy and if for he or she is if she belongs to younger age group suspect left colonic malignancy okay now the second one is related to the gender or sex part the right colonic malignancy is more commonly seen in females whereas left colonic malignancy more commonly seen in males i'm not going into details of percentage and everything it varies from country to country so the common thing what we can say we are discussing here the average right so females more susceptible for right colonic malignancy males more susceptible for left colonic malignancy more commonly seen right the third one is the histology in histology usually the biopsy taken from right colonic malignancy it reveals and indicates the presence of sessile adenomas and usually they are poorly differentiated mucinous adenocarcinoma poorly differentiated means cell division rate is high mucinous variety and adenocarcinoma adeno word is used wherever secretory glands epithelium is involved so right colonic malignancy sessile adenomas poorly differentiated mucinous adenocarcinoma whereas in left colonic malignancy it is of tubular variety usually and villous adenocarcinomas is the reporting okay right colonic histology sessile adenomas poorly differentiated mucinous left tubular or villous adenocarcinoma okay then in morphology under colonoscopy the right colonic malignancy the lesions are usually flat type so it is very difficult to detect during a screening colonoscopy so other tumor markers as well as the biopsy multiple biopsy sometimes required to diagnose these type of malignancy right colonic malignancy right flat type difficult to detect during screening colonoscopy whereas in the left colonic malignancy they are usually polypoid variety the polypoid type the polyps are there and they are very easily detected during screening colonoscopy we can take the biopsy and send it for histology and easily detected the left one right in right colonic malignancy the msi is very high what is msi actually in this slide we are having three important words msi the mmr mismatch repair and cin chromosomal instability right so try to understand one by one msi is basically these are known as micro satellite instability reasons huh? what does it mean normally what happens whenever a cell divides and suppose a mutation is going to be there during the cell division normally what happens there is 
DNA mismatch repair system is functioning. If that mismatch repair system is not function, functioning in any patient, and that is deficient, that will lead to a formation of mutation, right? So multiple mutations that is being accumulated. More number of mutations means more or high microsatellite instability, right? Number of mutations more, why number of mutations are more? Due to deficient mismatch repair. DNA repair is not happening. Mismatches repair is not happening properly. That's why number of mutations, they are being accumulated. And that's why this will lead to MSI high. Microsatellite instability reasons will be high. Right? When we are going to say that this MSI is high, whenever more than 30% or 30% mutations are there, then we call it like MSI is high. So the right colonic malignancy, it has been seen that in this reason, in this uh, colonic malignancy, the MSI is usually high due to MMR repair deficient area. Right? Mismatch repair is not happening. Whereas in left colonic malignancy, this is chromosomal instability, means whole of the chromosome is instable. And right side, that particular strand was instable, MSI, right? Microsatellite area, that was instable. But in the left colonic malignancy, whole of the chromosome is instable. CIN high tumors are there. Means all of the chromosome, either it will be having mutation like deletion or inversion or other types of mutations, but whole of the chromosome is involved in left colonic malignancy, right? So this is a very basic and important difference as far as the mutation is concerned, okay? And it is going to affect the prognosis also. Now, as far as the adjuvant therapy response is concerned, the right colonic malignancy, they respond very well to immunotherapy. Why they respond well to immunotherapy? Because the, this, these type of cells, they are having high antigen load. High load is there, so they respond well to immunotherapy, right colonic malignancy. Whereas left colonic malignancy, they respond well to conventional chemotherapy and targeted therapy. In subsequent video, I will discuss what is immunotherapy, what is targeted therapy, what is chemotherapy? What is radiotherapy? Okay. For the time being, there is a difference in adjuvant therapy response. The right colonic malignancy respond well to immunotherapy, whereas left colonic malignancy respond well to chemotherapy and targeted therapy. Okay. Now, immunogenicity is high in right colonic malignancy. And there is a lot of T cell infiltration in right colonic malignancy. Okay, and that's why this is uh, right colonic malignancy, they are more responsive for immunotherapy. Okay, whereas left colonic malignancy, that is the immunogenicity is, genicity is low, that's why they are more responsive for chemotherapy, conventional chemotherapy and targeted therapy. Okay. Right. High immunogenicity, right colon, immunotherapy response. Left colon, low immunogenicity. That's why chemotherapy and targeted therapy response. Now, metastasis site, the most common site in right colonic malignancy metastasis is peritoneal. Okay, peritoneal MEPS. They are very common in right colonic malignancy, if that is there. Whereas in left colonic malignancy, the most common site is either lung or liver. Okay, liver and lung, they are the most common site involved in left colonic malignancy. Prognosis-wise, the right colonic malignancy, they are relatively poor 
in late stages right colonic malignancy actually let's talk about a stage 1 2 3 4 these are the stages in colonic malignancy suppose and in this uh, right colonic malignancy the early stage that is stage 1 and 2 they have better prognosis as compared to the similar stage tumors of left side right stage 1 and 2 early stage better prognosis whereas left colonic malignancy the prognosis is relatively better in late stage that is stage 3 and stage 4 tumors clear right colonic malignancy late stages poor prognosis early stage better prognosis just opposite in case of left colonic malignancy and very commonly the right colonic malignancy clinically the patient present with anemic features why anemic difficult to screen difficult to diagnose on screen flat variety flat type lesions are there whereas in left colonic malignancy the lesions are usually obstructive in nature so obstruction features are very common in left colonic malignancy okay and these were the important differentiating features between right colonic malignancy and left colonic malignancy anything not clear you can write to me i will try to solve the problem and similarly we'll continue learning from each other thank you so much